What's good with y'all? Back with another video. As y'all can see by that title and that thumbnail, I'm just showing you around. I'm going over my top five favorite things about my 2014 Q50S all-wheel drive with the 37, of course. So first off, I'm gonna lock the car. And my favorite thing is that whenever I come up to the car, I have the keys in my pocket. And all I have to do to unlock the doors is put my hand behind the door handle and it opens up all four doors. So easy, so simple without having to like click the, uh, the proximity button on the side of the door to unlock the doors or unlock all of them like some cars are. Like my dad's G70 is just like that. You know, older Nissan Infiniti products. All right, so what's next? I'm gonna go back on the inside. Or should I go outside? Should I stay inside or outside? I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna stay inside. And like I said, I don't, I don't like editing the videos, man. So next will be the lockable trunk and lockable glove box combo. Basically, two in one. So basically, I can lock the trunk from a button right there. And the reason why is because I keep valuable stuff in my trunk. And if y'all want to come rob me, come rob me. Oh, well. But all you got to do is click that off, and the trunk will not open. Even with the button on the inside of the car. The trunk will make a popping noise. The button on the key fob, nothing. Now, whenever I click it back on, I can hit this button and you'll hear the popping noise. And now the trunk's open. So I'm gonna close this back up. We're gonna move on to the next. It's a real good safety feature that a lot of cars don't have anymore which is crazy. And that's one of the things that like older cars have on them. That's the thing that should have been kept, but I really like that. As y'all can see, I got some tools back there. Some nice heat right there too. The young Nikes. They clean. All right. And next is the headlights and taillights as a combo. Overall, the lighting on this car is amazing. The DRLs are just so, I think they're called uh, Samurai. Something, something about, something about Japan. I know that for a fact, but I just love these uh, headlights and taillights on this car. And I actually um, put some, some eBay overlays on the taillights. Used to be a huge circle, huge reverse circle right here, but it's a little bit slimmer now. And I liked that. I didn't, I didn't want the full red just because of uh, the color of the car. And a lot of people have done that. So I just went with the, the slight slit in it. And after that, we gonna go right underneath the hood. And that's of course a given. And it's this engine right here. Ah, oh, that thing's hot, man. I almost burnt my head. But I've almost put 10,000 miles on this in under a year. And I haven't had one issue whatsoever with this car. As expected, it only has, I bought it with 37,000 miles on it. Now it has 44, almost 45. So it definitely shouldn't. But it actually came with these, uh, AFE intakes. A lot of people don't say that they're not, like nothing beats the stock intakes basically. So yeah. So maybe I lost a few horsepower. I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up and go over the last part, which is of course the exhaust note. I just love the exhaust note on this car. Go ahead and say what 
I want to say. But I really do love this car, though. I really do. But if y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, follow the IG, too. It's prolific underscore G70 on IG.